To anyone accustomed to a regular nine to five job, the idea of being a freelancer may seem crazy. And I have to admit that sometimes I think they're right. On the other hand, the madness that comes with every gig can be addictive, and my co-host Kriya Gangia thrives on inspired insanity. Karusha spent a typical working morning with Kriya, and we're about to share the experience. Anyone who works with Kriya is struck by her energy and charmed by a smile that comes straight from a great big heart. She's always up for a challenge, and she's equally comfortable on a surfboard or in the boardroom. Her CV includes professional success as a DJ, MC, model, actor, IT auditor, and digital strategist. I'm very excited as I get to spend some time with one of Mela's very own Kriya Gangia. Kriya is no stranger to the media as she's very comfortable in front of a camera lens as well as behind a radio mic. She's also an infotainment professional and I'm going to tag along with her today to see what a day in the life entails. Kriya! Karusha, how are you? So good to see you. Thank you so much for joining me in a day in my life. Well, I am in my gym gear as per your request, but this doesn't look like a gym. So this is slightly different. I've been doing body tech for the past two years and because I've got such a busy schedule, I don't always have time to spend like an hour or two hours in the gym. So I found this as a alternative to kind of getting fit. Let's do it. Because the system is based on the electrical stimulation of muscles, Kriya and Karusha had to suit up before the session started. Electrodes in the vests and belts form the connection between their bodies and the control units. Thank you. Three, two, one. Please hold that position and brace. Down nice and slow. Come tight. And hold it. And again. Two, one. Down nice and slow, elbows into your stomach, and up, and flex back. One arm up, lunge first, and then touch your knee. Looking tired. Ooh. <laughs> Great session, Martin. You enjoy it. I really Fine. loved it. How did you like it? I really liked it. Yeah. High five? High five. Okay, well, I think now that we've done our exercise for the day, I do have a after exercise treat. Well, that is just up my alley. Let's do it. So what's really nice about this area is it's kind of the new trendy hip place in Pretoria. And not only does it make amazing food, but they also make really good milkshakes. So let's see if we can get one. Hi, Hi Zach, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, thanks. Zach, can we get two of the regulars, please? The yes, please. So Kriya, tell me how much pressure do you feel to look a certain way in the entertainment industry? It was a bit of an adjustment because now, you know, people are looking at you, they're looking up to you. It took me a little bit of time to get used to the concept because I'm quite a bit of a tomboy. So if you see me on the street, I'm gonna be in sneakers, jeans, no makeup on, hair probably in a bun. Now I have to look a certain way, portray a certain image. But you kind of get used to it after a while. Of course we know each other from Mela and I know that you are very busy, but I don't know exactly what you do outside of entertainment. I started off being a radio presenter. I did my very first radio show when I was 17 years old. So I've been in radio for almost 13 years and went into TV afterwards. After getting into it, I kind of realized, one, I needed something that is going to mentally stimulate me a little bit more. And two, I kind of like a certain lifestyle. <laughs> so I decided to open up my very own business in digital marketing. So I've used my studies and my radio and television skills to kind of further my business as well. Oh, it looks like milkshakes are ready. Look at that. Thank you very much, Zach. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. And Pretoria, have you always called it home? Pretoria I moved to when I was quite young. I finished off primary school here, did high school and varsity. I like the quietness of it. Joburg is so fast paced and it's work and it's traffic and it's busy. And then I come back to Pretoria and this is home. I got my friends here, I've got all my family here and I just kind of feel at peace in Pretoria. You also have two little doggies <laughs> in your life. Tell me about them. So I am a massive animal lover and I have two little pets, Zara and Louie. I've had Zara for almost eight years now and Louis is a new addition into my house that is eating all my furniture. <laughs> and you do a lot of work with animal organizations. Why is that so close to your heart? For me, obviously, I can't go and save the polar bears just yet. So I started small and I started with my community. So I started an animal charity in Pretoria that we do every year. It's called Bark in the Park and it's a music concert that's safe for dogs. 
So it's all centered around your animals. It's under a certain decibel level, so you can bring your puppies with you. Instead of having gourmet people food, we have gourmet dog food. And it's just a really nice day out for you and your pet where you can enjoy the Pretoria surroundings and obviously have good music and good food. So dogs, friends, family, all of it, but you still manage to sometimes pack your bags and go all over the world. I don't work to live, I work to travel because literally as soon as I have enough money for my next trip, I'm gone. So I've gotten to travel to the Northern Lights, which is all the way to Svalbard. We went so far north that there's more polar bears on the island than there are people. I've done the Philippines, I've done Mauritius, I've done Mozambique. I've done a number of places that are really, really beautiful. And I've traveled for Mela. I was lucky enough to go on my very first shoot for Mela to Zanzibar to get to learn the spice route where all our spices that we actually use today still come from Zanzibar. I am so jealous. Do you have a trip that's planned? Or if you don't, where do you want to go next? We like to do special occasions. So we've done Christmas in Prague. We've done New Year's on the Champs-Élysées in Paris. So now we are going to follow the cherry blossoms through Japan. It's about a two week trip and I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, that sounds amazing. I'll definitely be following all of your travels on your blog. Every post you make, I'll be liking it. <laughs> With a jealous tear. <laughs> and what do you learn from traveling the world and experiencing different cultures? South Africa is a beautiful country. And I think as South Africans, we get caught up in the negatives. We get caught up in what we hear on the news. Traveling has kind of showed me that we have one of the most beautiful countries in the world. And that has opened my eyes to a whole new environment. You seem to have a very weird hobby of attending other people's weddings. What is that all about? I'm quite lucky that a lot of my friends have become family and we're a very large group of friends. So last year we might have done 17 weddings and this year I think I'm on like eight already. I like to celebrate love. So having these people in my life, we get to celebrate with them. So Karusha, I think we need to finish up our mold tricks. I need to get to one of my clients who's having an activation today. This is one of my biggest clients and I absolutely love them. It's owned by an Indian family and it's pretty much where you come to shop in bulk. And today they've got a big activation because it's their 27th birthday and uh, we're going to go do a bit of mosing around and I'm going to try and get some work done. Well, I'm in your hands. I'm going to follow you around. Let's go. Now, once we're done with this video, I've taken a couple of shots. I'm going to edit it together and then actually post it on to one of the social media platforms. See, then move that around. And then, cool. So now that we've finished the video and we've got a nice image as well, thank you for celebrating with us at our birthday. We changed the color. Red, obviously, because it fits with the brand. And post. There we go, quick and easy. Very cool, it's the future. It is. So Korea, what's next for you? For me, I want to grow my company. At the moment, I'm calling it a boutique agency. Even though we've got over nine clients, I feel like as a woman in South Africa, starting my own business, not only can I employ myself, which is great, but I can help other South Africans as well. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I feel like I know you on a whole new level. Thank you so much. And uh, you know what, I'm going to run because I've got another client to get to, but uh, enjoy the shopping. <laughs>